Hey everyone, welcome back to the Python Image Library module video tutorial series. That never gets old to me. And in this video, we're going to be checking out the transpose function. Now, the transpose function lives inside of our image object, like just about all the functions we've been looking at. And what it does is it returns a flipped or rotated copy of the image that you're working with. Now, this is kind of cool, because you can flip the image uh, horizontally or vertically, and it can rotate things 9 degrees or 80 degrees or whatever the case may be. Um, you can use, uh, of course, the rotate function, which we've seen before, to get things other than 90 degrees and 180 degrees, but if you just want simple static stuff, you can use the transpose function. But remember, the rotate function can do other angles than, than simply those. So. Like I said, the image transpose function will return a copy of the image you're working with. So if you want to kind of overwrite the image you're working with, you do have to set image to equal image.transpose. Now, okay, so the constants and the uh, data that we need to pass to the function, the actual method, are kind of flags and constants that live in the image module. So I'm using the big capital I here. It's in the module itself. So Let's try flip, left, right. These are all capital letters and uh, separated by underscores. And what this does is, of course, flips the image horizontally. We can do the same thing with, uh, let me get to it, uh, top, bottom. Run this code. Now it's flipped upside down, flipped vertically. And, of course, we do have rotate 90, rotate 180, rotate 90, run this, you got that rotated image, and rotate 180, simple, simple stuff. Oh, I should remember to run the code, that would help. <laughs> there we go. and rotate to 70. So, cool. So that's all that it simply does. I find this kind of handy for the uh, flip left and right and top and bottom though, because being able to quickly uh, flip an image horizontally or vertically is kind of nifty. And uh, that's all it takes, the transpose function in the image library. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Super simple, super easy. And man, that's, that's all this library is. So. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial.